Wednesday night. It's our product experience and training call. I'm Keith, Keith Hooper here in Central California with my darling wife, Sandra. It is March the 13th. We're joined this evening by our good friend, Dr. Barry White, out of Ontario, Canada. Good evening, Dr. White. Good evening, Keith. And as always, we want to put the caveats in, into these that the products from Immunotech Research do not cure anything, but as Hippocrates said some two and a half thousand years ago, let food be thy medicine, simply the most important food you can use is Immunocal, Immunocal Platinum, as well as our other great products. So tonight we're doing um, uh, an on-demand, if you will, uh, call. Uh, Dr. White was so kind to, uh, to put some information out last week, and I had a lot of requests, Dr. White, to come back and touch up on the the creatine, the creatine, and and revisit the original research of Immunitech that you covered last week on this call. So once again, you know the products of Immunitech research are designed around the science that makes our lives better, and that's what we have. Obviously, Dr. White here in our Immunical Immunical Platinum. So the first question that was sort of asked last week. Uh, it, it had to do with these two conflicting words. One was creatine, and the other was creatinine. Now, when you do a blood test, the doctors check on your creatinine levels, and that tells you how well the kidneys are getting rid of the waste product of creatine. Creatine is the product you use. Creatinine is the waste product that goes out the, by the kidneys. And so if your creatinine level is high, that means your kidneys are not functioning well. But if, you're, if you've got a low number, that means your kidneys are kicking out the creatinine very good. So that was just a simple question. And often doctors, um, uh, they're, after the question of our immunocal platinum, which has what, 0.4 of a gram of creatine. Now, creatine is produced in your body. It's necessary to keep your muscles strong. And if your creatine is low, then that means you starting you have the problem of starting to lose muscle strength and muscle mass. So for a particular, for a person over 40, that's really important because your creatine levels are dropping and you need some assistance. That's where the Immunocal Platinum comes in. That one extra thing is for that pur purpose. Uh, the, there's also a value in the Platinum, too, in terms of it, ha it, it works at reducing the inflammation. Inflammation is rising, uh, plus 40, maybe sometimes 35, depends where it is. But that inf inflammation is rising, so you need to do some corrective work and the platinum is a helpful in, in part of helping that happen. So that was the, the creatine, creatinine question, and the, keeping your muscles strong. And for particular, for people who are older than, like the 65, boy, you really need to, to, to depend on the Immunocal platinum to keep your inflammation as low as possible. Because inflammation can do all sorts of damage, heart, uh, your, the system that moves your blood, all that kind of thing can be damaged yeah, because of inflammation being too high. So that's why we recommend for people who are over 40, their boats, that you use the Immunocal Platinum. So that was the roundabout thing around creatine, creatinine, Immunocal Platinum, and the benefit of keeping your creatine, creatine high to keep your muscles strong. So that was the first so topic the, we so, so if we're coming back at that, so the creatine levels you want to have up, okay, from the Immunocal, take the Immunocal Platinum and get your creatine levels up. But that it is, there's not a relationship with that and the creatinoid or creatinines that are the liver problem, right? There's not a, there's not a connection between the two. Yeah, the kidney problem, yeah. Uh, right. In terms of what is an acceptable level of creatine, uh, when you're taking four packages of Immunocal Platinum per day, that means you're getting about 1.6 grams of creatine, and that's under two. Two is about the, the, where the where you should be roughly in terms of keeping your creatine levels up. So uh, that's good. Uh, I had a person call me uh, and telling me, and, and he, he was a bodybuilder. His advisor 
<laughs> had advised them to go on 20 grams a day for five days of creatine and five grams a day for five days after. So that was, uh, and he blew his kidneys out. So you know where the danger part is. Four, four packages of platinum, no danger at all. And in fact, that's exactly sort of where it'd be, just under the two mark. Two is good. Because as people get older, the normal source for the creatine is red beef, red meat, uh, and some and some other foods that as people get older, they consume less of, correct? Oh, yeah. Uh, a person, if you, if you remember, at 40, you're eating half as much as you did when you were 20. And that at 20, the, you're getting better levels of, if you're eating red meat and so on, you're getting better levels. But as soon as you get up to getting your appetite lower and so on, well, you know, you need some supplementation, need some extra stuff that comes from the platinum. All right, so great. So that was the first question last week. And then the next question was? Well, it, it, I'll give you an example from today. I, I was calling one of my downline, and they were saying, do you have any recent um, testimonials of uh, regarding cancer, and particularly with breast cancer? And I said, well, let, let's look at this whole process. Testimonials are the lowest form of uh, uh, recommendation and so on. The highest level is a patent. So at the beginning, and this is where we were last week, the whole question at the beginning, when you are going to go to human studies, you first of all need animal studies. So they did the animal studies and proved that, for example, when you give the, the rodents um, a particular chemical compound, 100% of them develop cancer, 100%. So they gave these special rodents um, uh, immunocal and 97% of them did not develop cancer. So on the basis of this kind of information, they went to the Dalhousie, or in, in Dalhousie, but the Nova Scotia Cancer Institute, and when you're doing human studies, you, well, they, they were doing it on people, that seven people who were expected to die from cancer in the next 72 hours, three days, all right? The reason they choose people who are so far gone is that if the, the product you're testing them on uh, kills them, it wasn't a big deal because they were going to be dead in three days anyway. So four of these people had breast cancer, one, uh, one liver, one pancreas, and I don't know if the other one was mentioned. But after six months, months, not hours or days, after six months, all of the breast cancer people uh, were still alive. So I was asking the question, when what happened after six months? Well, the scientists didn't care because they had satisfied their their uh, objective. But, uh, but just to give some perspective on this, it, those uh, seven women who were going to die in three days, if one of them, if just one of them, had um, lived, say, one week instead of dying in three days. That would have been significant. One, just one, just one. But four lived to six months, still living at six months. That was an enormous, enormous, and that, that's almost cataclysmic in the process. So when you talk about, uh, was there any, have there been any clinical uh, evidence about breast cancer? But that that led directly, directly to the patent that was issued for the prevention and treatment of cancer. That was enormous. That that's part of it. So to recognize, if if you're asking for a testimony, yeah, there are a bunch of testimonies, but they're not as good as the patent. The patent stands forever. The a testimony, well, maybe that was that person and so on, but a patent. And the clinical studies that led up to that are enormous. So just to keep perspective, a patent on the prevention and treatment of cancer, we can't tell that publicly, but we can tell that to our consultants particularly. Uh, the idea is that we're not supposed to tell people to uh, lure them into the business, but it, it, people need to know that. 
this is so cataclysmic that it, the use of Immunocal, and by the way, those studies were all based on just two packages of Immunocal. It wasn't even the special, the, the, the platinum that we would recommend for, for most cases. But that by itself was an enormous breakthrough. Now, why did they keep us, tell us that we can't tell the world? Well, you probably have a better answer for that. But uh, we, it is so cataclysmic that the use of Immunocal can prevent or treat or, but we're not allowed to say that, cancer. Well, to that huh. point, Dr. White, the, the idea here is that, you know, we're sharing people. So when you're talking to your loved ones or your family or friends, because, you know, the world, the, the world is full of stories, the testimonials, stories. The, there's not a lot of companies that I'm aware of that have real, what we call, what we refer to as, as you know, science-based facts. And that's what we've got here, that we've got the published research. We've got the patent of use. Now, this patent of use is not a formulation patent. I want to just touch on this real quickly. There's lots of companies that have formulation patents. That means you take one shovel of, of what comes out of the back of a horse and a shovel of feathers, and you weigh them separately, and you mix them, and you've got a formulation patent. It's just a formulation. And you can change the formulation a little bit, and you've got a patent of use means that if you take a Munical or any product that has a patent of use, then you should expect the same result that's spelled out in the patent. That's in completely different. So when someone says, we have a patented product too, well, they've probably got a formulated patent. Okay, you take a half a can of Coke and a half a can of Pepsi, you mix them together, and all of a sudden you got something different, and you've, you, you got your, pep, you got your, your Pepsi Coke okay, or something. But it doesn't mean it does anything. The patent of use is such a big deal, Dr. White. Yeah, enormous. Uh, ground shaking, earthquake. Uh, most of our people perhaps don't understand how, I call it cataclysmic, but it, how it, absolutely enormous that is. So uh, if, uh, if you grade them, if a, a testimony is worth one point, um, clinical studies are worth 10 points, patent of use is worth 100 points. I mean, it's that kind of enormous difference. And, and the thing is, it stands forever. It's it's not the testimony from yesterday, and, and it might not be so much, and the person may be different and so on. The patent says, this is likely to be expected for everybody. And that's what people need to know that separates Immunitech from everything else that's out there. It's our research. It's our researchers, yeah. starting with Dr. Dr. Bunos and Dr. Konkshaven and then coming with, with, with Dr. Drogue and Dr. Gutman that's involved, as well as Dr. Linsman and, and Dr. Corellis and, and all the doctors that we have, Dr. Schiffer, all the doctors that are involved over all the years here. You know, Dr. Lewis out of the UK with sport performance. And, you know, we've got other patents that are coming forward that in some very, very life-challenging areas that we're having that we've got patents on as well, Doctor White. And maybe we'll talk about those in an upcoming call. What do you think? Yeah, that'll be good. For, but the other, there's another sort of enormous kind of process that's going on, uh, and people may not uh, sort of appreciate this kind of thing. When Immunitech started doing research, the the people we could attract to do our research were I call mid level. And then it got to the place where we had people like Dr. Linsman, who is a top, top person in the United States. And now, with his research that, that's ongoing and respected, that, that means now that the very, very top researchers are now willing to take on. Now, when you do a study, the, the researcher doesn't want to damage his reputation. So let's say we have a, 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 a research having to do with uh, the question of um, all pre Alzheimer's and what happens in that kind of thing. All right, which is currently that the study is almost published. The, the doctor, the research uh, scientist that did, started that under John Molson's direction, and uh, the, the, the patent was officially launched in 2015, and it's about to be published this you know, one month from now, perhaps. 
this is the top. So we have gone from mid-range uh, examiners, researchers, and so on, to the very top, in this case, it's Canada's top neuroscientist. And it was so so critical. Now, that top critical, that top neuroscientist would not take on a study unless he was sure the results were going to be positive. If he had any doubts that there's no, there's going to be negative, he wouldn't start this because it might damage his reputation. So this, he took this on with a two and a half million dollar backing from the Canadian government. I mean, this is almost unthinkable that the government itself is funding this newest study at the top, top, top of this idea of mild cognitive impairment, the, the early stages of Alzheimer's, the early stages of neurodegenerative. And we, we have come now to the, attracting the very top people in the science field to this product, Immunocal. It is so highly thought of in the science field that we are now able to get the, the absolute top people to do the research. And, and, and back to my you know, earth-shaking kind of thing, for Immunitech, for any company to achieve that. And by the way, we're the, there's only two patent, patents for food in the world. Uh, one of them we have called Immunocal. The other one is called, what's it called? It used to be called uh, 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 PNT, but it's now Serenity. That's a patent held in Europe, and we have the license to use it in North America. So here we have the top researchers. We have the top science. We're the only one of only two companies in the world that have clinical science proving the how good the product is. So it, it isn't that you know we compare uh, like this quack product over here and so on. There is no comparison between any of our products because. We're the only ones that hold the top patents on it. Only ones. Well, thank you, Dr. White, for this. For this. By this the way, did, did I make my point in that? That we're I, at I the, believe I. I, I think did you? The, I think you mentioned that we were at the top, right? The very top of researchers, the very top of science, in having to do with that, and all having to do with giving people better quality life. And by the way. And just that word cancer, we never say to, just to, as a caution, we never tell people, never tell people that they can use Immunocal instead of, instead of chemotherapy or radiation. We never tell them because, and it doesn't matter to us that the doctors will give credit to the, the drugs rather than to Immunocal when they take it at the same time. But that way, we're not trying to tell people to stay away from, from medicine. We're trying to complement it. And because it's a food, it doesn't react against the drugs. It just makes the drugs better. If, if the, what do you call it, uh, the doctors will admit that. <laughs> Right, we know that, and we'll, we'll maybe we'll cover that on another Wednesday night call. Well, we've taken the part of the first part of this Wednesday night call. Hope everybody's enjoyed where we're at up to here, and uh, we're now going to go to the second part of this, which will not be on the video that we'll be making. But uh, so that will encourage you to uh, to get the information to join us on these Wednesday night calls, so that you can hear the second part where we have a live interaction and take questions. So with that, Dr. White, I want to put the caveats in here. Once again, the products from Immunotech Research do not cure anything, but as Hippocrates said some two and a half thousand years ago, let food be thy medicine. Simply the most important food you can use, Immunocal, Immunocal Platinum, as well as our other great products. All right.